Hello. This afternoon we are making a sauerkraut soup. For this one, I'm going to use the 12 inch dip. Catfish got nice crust. Today, today we are making a sauerkraut soup. Um, so I have not tried it before. It sounded really good, and uh, uh, I'm, I'm home alone this weekend. My wife's visiting her daughter in Georgia, so uh, which works out because she doesn't like sauerkraut. So I get to experiment for myself a little bit. Um, so we're gonna give this a try. Uh, Putting some water on to boil some potatoes. I've got wherever I put them. Uh, I have got 24 ounces. The recipe calls for a pound. I'm going to go ahead and use the whole bag. Um, it'll give me a leftover. Actually, I'm going to have it for lunch today and for dinner tonight. So, um, and I'm working some funny hours this week, so it'll probably give me a leftover. Uh, one day middle of the week. So uh, um, I've got a, a 24 ounces of a bite size uh, honey gold or Yukon gold potatoes. Uh, we're going to get them boiling up here soon. Once the water comes up to temperature, after they're boiled, then we'll come back, re uh, reset, and uh, get the soup started. Man, that bread smells really good, but you are, they're going to be in the way right there, buddy. Um, the potatoes have been boiling for a few minutes now, and while they're doing their thing, I'm going to go ahead and start some of my prep work, which isn't much. Um, I've got an onion, about baseball size, and uh, some thick cut bacon. And I need eight slices, so that's going to be went two, four, six, eight. Most of this pack. Um, that's pretty much it for prep work. I got to dice up both of them. Uh, so let me get that going and uh, bear it back. Should be about done. I'm gonna slide these fellers over here. And they're hot. for a quick second but we're going to start sauteing our bacon. We're going to fry him up till crisp. And 
then add the onions. In the meantime, I'm going to drain the potatoes and let them cool down some. I'm going to save the water, though. Um, the soup needs five cups of water, so but the potato water would be the, the best choice for that. Uh, it's very flavored. Turn him down some. Yeah. All Alright, so the bulk of my bacon is crisped up. Uh, anything more is going to burn some of it, so the ones that didn't make it, I'm just going to leave as is. I'm going to add my onions and let them soften up. While they are cooking, I'm going to cut my potatoes with probably in half. They're already bite sized to start with, so I'm just going to cut them up in half. And I do need to drain my sauerkraut. Uh, I went with uh, Frank's sweet Bavarian style, so and then, uh, we'll get back here in a few minutes. All right, so um, my onions are softened up quite a bit, and need to add my sauerkraut. We're going to saute this up in just a few minutes. There it goes. I drained it as best I could while it was still in the can. We'll mix all that together here. Ooh, that sure smells good. So after that, when that gets done, we're going to uh, uh, add the rest of our liquids and bring it up to a boil for a few minutes and simmer so that all the flavors can meld. And then, uh, then after that, we'll add the potatoes back and heat them through. So, uh, all right. So I need to add all my liquids. Yellow jackets are starting to come around. A uh, quarter cup, there's a half, quarter cup of apple juice. It really wasn't much, was it? Um, five cups of water. I'm going to use the potato water that we had. much of it as I can. There's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. And one of them was a little short, so I'm going to make it about half. There we go. Three bouillon cubes. Um, I'm 
I'm using chicken because it just seemed like the right one to use. The recipe itself did not say. It kind of drove me nuts trying to figure out which she had intended on. So uh, I just made a judgment with chicken. I think it would have went good either way, chicken or beef. She did not say in her cookbook, so... Uh, I want the chicken. Alright. Let that cook through. Oh, I'm going to add my caraway seeds. How can you have anything German without caraway seeds? And one and a half teaspoons of caraway seeds. We're going to eyeball that. Probably closer to two. And some salt and pepper, but I'm gonna and I'm gonna cut back on some of the salt part of it. Just because, well it's sauerkraut, so it's got a lot of salt to start with. It seemed like a lot, but trust me, it really wasn't. Alright, so we'll uh, we'll bring that up to a, a simmer. Let it go for 15-20 minutes. Add the potatoes back. Fish my lighter back out of the other burner. Alright, so it's been eh, 15 minutes. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add the potatoes. Let them heat back up. Ooh, that is hot. I just, a lot of them I wind up slicing in quarters. But, and then we're going to let this heat back up. Five minutes, ten minutes at the most. Um, some of them were big, so I sliced them up in quarters. Most of them got in half. I know I said most of them were in quarters the first time. That actually looks pretty good. Now, I don't think you're going to be able to see a bit of it because of the angle. Okay. Let's see how our soup did. Um, Sorry, I was just, for one, it's hot. I was just testing to see if I was going to need any more pepper. Mm. I like that. So the, the twang of the sauerkraut 
has uh, passed. I think maybe I could get my wife to try some. That's kind of iffy. But most of the twang is gone. I can, uh, I can taste the caraway seeds, of course, and the bacon. The onions and the uh, bacon <clears throat> help sweeten it. <clears throat> Sorry, gotta wash this one down. Oh, cheers, by the way. Oh, yeah, that's much better. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, that's a really good soup. I'm liking this. Yep. The apple apple juice sweetens it up some. And then there wasn't a lot of apple juice, but it's really good. I'll try it with some of that bread we made earlier. goes really well with this soup too. It's a nice heavy bread. Just I don't know how to how to I don't know how to really report it, but the The, the denseness of the bread and the, the earthiness, the the whole wheat, the oatmeal, the coffee flavors that the Guinness adds to it go really well. They pair up really good with uh, with this uh, German sauerkraut soup. I am really liking this. Go on. So. The, uh, the soup recipe came from a cookbook that was my mom's that I inherited at, at, um, upon her passing. Uh, Authentic German Homestyle Recipes by Ginny Youngkrantz. Couldn't tell you much more about it other than it was one of my mom's books, but I was thumbing through it the other day, uh, thinking of her. and. Uh, stumbled into this and I thought oh that'd be a good one to make to make um, a uh, during October um, just seemed like the right place for it and while <laughs> while my wife was out of town because I, I do enjoy sauerkraut and she does not so I thought it would be a good good excuse to try something new and I'm, I'm really glad I did because I, I like this and it's on my it's on my keeper list I just have to, to work it into times when she's away Yep, I like this quite a bit. So, hey, I want to want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, happy October to you. And, uh, we'll see you next time.